G'day guys, welcome back. This, this is the first mould I ever made a couple of years ago. I was so in love with this mould. I haven't used it for so long, so I'm going to use it today. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but most moulds come in four cavities. So if you're a person that wants six coasters, this is the mould for you. And it does have two little heart um, keychains there as well, or pendants. So um, I'll, I'll get started and I'll talk to you more a little about it, the mould and what I'm doing. Now, because Valentine's Day is coming and, you know, red is the colour of love, I am doing red and black today. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. This is about as red as I can get. I didn't want to use mica powders today because you know how mica powders kind of, they're a bit shimmery and they have that pattern, you know, they all pull in together and they have that little pattern that the stripe is, and I, and I don't want that. So going with pigment pastes today, red and black. I'm using my Platinum 360 Plus because it's my favourite for, um, for coasters, many other things as well, but for coasters, they are great because I can unmold this this afternoon. Um, it's quarter past nine now in the morning, and I know I can unmold it like in six to eight hours. So this is going to be a two-step pour. I'm going to put my black and red resin in. I'm going to let that set up for a few hours until it's just tacky. You know when you touch it and it leaves a fingerprint, but it doesn't leave like a, a sticky trail? So that's what I'm going to wait for. It's warming up in my cup because it's quite deep. It doesn't like to be poured very deep, but it's fine for coasters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour half red, half black. I know, it's going to be so fun. Um, and then when it gets a little bit tacky after a few hours, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some gold leaf down the center where the two colors join. So that's going to be exciting. So look at that red. If you wanted a deeper red, you could add like a tiny bit of black. You could put a tiny bit of that in, but I think I like just how red it is. I might add a little bit more because I don't want it transparent. I want it opaque. Um, and then once that layer is set with the gold leaf, then I'm going to come back and pour some clear in. But um, like I can still do the two layers and still unmold tonight. So yay, it's, it's great. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of the red. So I can kind of see through that just a touch. Now this this is um, Dynamic Pigment Paste paste by Solid Solutions. This is one of the very early pastes that I bought before I really knew much about resin and resin pastes. So, and they're great. They don't go all hard and dry like some pastes do. All right, so there we go. Um, I, this, this particular mold takes about 480 grams of resin. So I've halved it. We're going to go 250 and 250. So uh, 100, 175 grams of A, 75 grams of B, and that's 250 grams. So hopefully, you know, there'll be a little bit left over. Now, the other thing I need to tell you about and the black was the Lorez Midnight Black. The other thing I need to tell you about this mould is it's a very special mould um, because it has rock edges, like rock edges. They're not smooth. So for me, when I was looking for geode um, moulds back in the day when I started resin, I wanted a mould that had a geode rocky edge. I didn't want one that had a smooth shiny edge. It's, to me it's not what a geode or agate is. So I, I made this and, and I'll show you once I've demoulded. Oh, Alright, here we go. So I don't want to fill halfway so I'm just going to kind of whoa, <laughs> pour. But I don't want to fill them up so I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, but yeah, I don't want to fill them. I don't need half half because I still want to put clear in. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's wait. Let's do that. I'm just going to make sure I've got enough to go around, though. That's all. Enough for everybody. Probably should have made more of the colour, like in the first layer, and then just did less of the clear. That way I know, you know, I'm not going to run out because that would be awful if I run out. 
I do want to try and do my little hearts as well, but I need to see if I've got enough. I think I'm going to have enough. I think. I think I am. Be careful not to drip everywhere. Now, when you're doing this technique, you don't always get... Oh, look at that! <laughs> um, you don't always get like a, a definite line in the middle. But, but that's okay because I'm going to cover it with um, my gold leaf. And I'm just going to fill in any little areas that I've got left. If the resin hasn't filled in yet. And look, I've still got a little bit left. Yay! <laughs> What do you think of the red? It's nice deep red, isn't it? I'm going to try and kind of make them even. A little bit more black in that one. But when I put my gold leaf on, I'm going to try not to do just like totally hard, like a straight line. I'm going to try and make it a little bit more organic if possible. Getting some cool little effects there between the two resin pastes. For some reason I've got more the reds kind of taking over and pushing the black. Oh and look what we've got going on here because I've got a circle there, a little nib. It's doing weird things. <laughs> okay so all gone. Now let me just clean up my little sticks because I'm going to use those again. Well-loved sticks. I, I do like reusing my sticks because when you start with a, a timber stick, it's porous and it can make bubbles. So I just, I like to reuse them all. Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to give it a, a light little torching. Just for bubbles. Don't go overboard with your torch because you're... Um, the resin will will fuse to your silicone. Look at that! Look at the weird little effects I'm getting there with those two pastes. I'm just going to take off my gloves here, and then I'm going to bring you down and show you. So that worked out quite well. I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to have enough resin. Look at that weird little. I don't know what it's doing. Two different brands of paste are making weird little things in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, that it's, doesn't matter. I'm going to be covering it up with gold leaf anyway. Well, there's, is that a bubble? Is that, oh, no, I actually haven't filled that. There's a little gap there. I'll just have to get a toothpick and push that red in. So I'm going to make sure that everything's gone right up to the edges. Um, and then I'll be back in uh, a few hours once it's tacky and we can do the next step with the gold leaf. Gold leaf flakes. All right, see you soon. Right, so it's been a few hours, so I can touch them. Might have even left it a little bit too late. I was busy, I was busy. All right, so I've got some gold leaf. And I'm just going to kind of place it. <laughs> I put it in the cup because, the, you know, when you've bought gold leaf. I don't know if you've ever bought gold leaf, but um, they kind of stuck to each other. Oh no. I might have to turn my air conditioner off, you guys. Because ah, it's blowing. I think I will have to go and turn it off. So basically, I just... Hang on, I've got to go turn, turn it off. <gasps> That was a good start to the video, wasn't it? Now, I'm not sure what's going to be easier if I just try and pick up pieces and place them with my fingers, or I think that's probably going to be easier. I'm trying to <laughs> place them with the tweezers. The problem with the fingers, like, oh dear. <sighs> This is, this is going to drive me crazy. Oh, gosh. Let's just try this. If I hold a piece and break it, no. Okay, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. And just put some little pieces on with fingers and just be careful about it. But you can basically see what I'm 
trying to do. And I was going to try and kind of make it a little bit not so straight a line, but I do want to cover up the join, if you know what I mean. So, no! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Alright, this is, this is tricky, you guys! This is tricky! Oh, gosh! And I know you're all saying, well, why don't you just put the the gold leaf in the clear when you do the next layer. Um, look, you, you could, but you know what gold leaf's going to do? It's just going to like spread everywhere. And I don't want it to spread everywhere. I just want it down the centre. So that's why I'm not putting it in the top layer. Okie dokes. I guess if a few little bits float away... It might match the more floaty bits away on the others, so. I don't know, but I think by the time I finish, by, by the time I get around to the last one, I might know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's not easy stuff to work with. I just gotta be careful, like, I don't wanna leave fingerprints and things. So that's a pretty dead straight line. So what I think I'm gonna do, I will just, because I just I need to get this on, just in case it starts. You know setting up so I'm just gonna kind of put it on because I'd hate for my resin to get too cured and then it won't stick because this this stuff is it's, really, it's a bit difficult to work with <laughs> you blow it away mm. I've got my coffee I needed some energy for this particular project. I didn't end up turning my air conditioner off. I just pushed the vent up so it wasn't blowing down on me because it's way too hot to have no air con on. So it's starting to set up a little bit. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Um, I'm going to put you on fast forward so that you don't need to get too board because it's going to take me a little while but in saying that I do need to get a wriggle on um, because my resin is going to start curing and then it won't stick at all. It's a, it's a fine line you know when, when to do it. You've got to wait until the resin's not too sticky otherwise you're going to put your fingers in it but um, not too, not too set either. And when I was picking out a bit of gold from there, I brought it over and it left this black train onto that one. Oh my gosh. What can you do? What can you do? All right. I'm going to finish this one and I'll put you on fast forward. Ah, I'll see you at the end. Wish me luck. So here we go, I am done. It was not as easy as I thought it would be, I must say. Little bits of gold were flying everywhere. <laughs> um, I was trying not to do like a straight line and I've kind of broken it up a little bit on the sides. But you know what? It doesn't look very Valentine's Day anymore. I said to my husband when I was done, I said, what do you think? He said, it looks very Japanese. <laughs> Um, or uh, you know Chinese and I'm thinking yeah it looks more Chinese New Year colors but never mind it's um it is what it is it's either Valentine's or it's Chinese New Year whatever you whatever you like now these are my little gold samples gold pens gold paints I'll go through those later and we'll see which one kind of matches best um, for the edges um, I've mixed up some more resin so we'll pop you back on the tripod and pour the clear in. So I've got another 175 of A, 75 of B, but it, oh gee, it looks it looks too much. Oh, there's something floating in there. Um, but as always, if I've got too much, I'll just do some puffy hearts. Right, here we go. And hopefully these will look really pretty and shiny. And yes, I know, I could have mixed, you know, the, the gold 
in with the clear but it's it's like I said earlier it's just not what I wanted I wanted it to basically stay in the middle be really nice and shiny and gold sparkly um, yeah you kind of lose that once you've mixed it up in resin like all the little pieces you've mixed them up um, I don't know what that is it kind of loses its like I don't know I wanted that you know that chunky really gold thick look and when you mix it up you kind of lose that and it's just kind of floating floating everywhere um, and it wouldn't have stayed in the middle it would have just floated everywhere and it's not what I wanted for this particular pour so how are we going oh it's not bad actually look uh, I probably will dome them a little bit fill them right up who else wants some me you can have some this one's full this one's full you're not push you to the edges so this sort of style you can do you know in any color you might want to do um, you know black on one side and white on the other and like silver in the middle for instance um, what just whatever you like really oh, I was pretty good with my calculations there actually I am going to use all this I'm just letting them dome a little bit more on the little dude so there's no real great reveal tomorrow or later on today because you know you can see what they're going to look like it's just we're going to go through the different golds that I've got and pick one to to paint the edges in. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll see which gold will look nicest. I'm just standing back and having a look and seeing which one needs a little bit more. So yeah, look, it's, it's probably about a tablespoon left in that cup. And I think we're good to go here. We are good. All right. Fantastic. Righto, um, I'll give them a, a, another quick little torch. Move my paper out of the way so I don't set fire to it. And I'll give the bubbles a chance to come up and then I'll give them another little torch. And I will see you a little bit later on. <laughs> it's really shiny when you stand back over here. <laughs> And look across the, that gold is just gorgeous so I, I don't know whether I was thinking in my mind to do a thinner gold line but it just it just grew like I didn't know when to stop you know adding more adding more and I thought oh let, there's a spot there let's add some more and ah, anyway I still think it looks great so See if we can see the doming. Doming. See how they're kind of rounded on the edges there of the mold, and they're they're really nice and shiny. So I will see you a bit later on, whether it's this afternoon or tomorrow, and uh, we will pick pick a colour for the sides. Look how shimmery that gold looks. See you then. Righto, so I am back, as you can see. <laughs> I always think it's funny that people go, oh, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, we can see that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, now, I've taken a couple out. I was trying to see if I could, like, paint the edges. Because they're, you know, the rock edge, like I said, um, I thought, oh, if I just find something to paint them with, like with a paintbrush, it'll take me... You know less time can you see can you see let's go over here so they've got this uneven rocky finish on them and I just thought yeah if I can get my paintbrush out and just you know brush them it'll be much faster so I, I took the other two out and I made up this concoction <laughs> which in the end, long story short, I'm, I'm not happy with. I got some gloss varnish 
and I mixed in some color berry carrot collection in the gold and it was too green it was a it was a greeny gold so I mixed in some of the let's resin bright gold to try and take the the gold off like the greeny tone off but then it kind of went kind of grainy and shimmery like mica powders do um, and I, I still wasn't happy with the color that I did the edge of one of them that that's it there that's it there so this is the gold leaf I'm going to try to match it so that one there is the deco color pen the next one down is pen touch and then this one here is Montmartre it's more of a more of a green tone again uh, that one there it's more of a copper tone even though it says it's gold model master they look different in the bottom but still not quite right and then this one here down the bottom which looks amazing on the back you'd think it would be a perfect match kind of came out a bit green that one's the it's trouble getting this one um le franc and bourgeois if i if i can pronounce it properly i probably can't anyway that was that one because it looks amazing there but on here it looks kind of green so i don't know i did try it and I waited for it to dry, but um, yeah, it, none of them, none of them are as good as the old Deco colour when it comes to trying to match the gold leaf. So I did these two. I did the sides. <laughs> I did the sides in the um, in the paint, and then I did. It just doesn't look as nice as that. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've been playing. This one, the little heart, the little dude. I painted the side in the deco color. And I also painted just around the, the top rim there in the deco color as well. And it just looks so much better. So I wasted a lot of time and energy and bit of mica powder trying to to get it you know something better but in hindsight the deco color wins each time so let's get the rest of them out there's there's nothing to reveal you can see them already so oh you want to come out okay and you too yep <laughs> they come out really easily and the little dude there we go so there we go lovely mold love it love it love it where can i put you where can i put you over here in a bigger studio you guys <laughs> oh no i've only just got a new one haven't i still running out of room now just feel around the edge if there's any little sharp pieces uh you know where you've gone over it was overflowed a little bit just give them a quick little sand with your nail file that's all i do just with my nail file i don't get a deburring tool or a um Oh God, what's the other thing called? <laughs> oh, I can't forget. I can't remember. Um, and then just a, a wipe. I've got a little Microsoft microfiber little cloth there that you can give them a wipe with. Okay. And now all I do, and you've seen this before, just move these out of the way so that we can, the camera knows what to focus on. Otherwise it has trouble. So what you can do is, make sure you've got your little blotting card so that you can blot to get it started. Are we still in focus? Do the, um, do the sides. It's not difficult to do. Um, you know, it'll just take you a little time. If, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd go and sit over on my bench where the table is. Oh the bench sit at the bench and uh, and do this because then I won't make mistakes oh, 
sorry if I lose focus, I was bringing it up to me a little bit closer. But yeah, when, I, when I'm doing it over on the bench, um, yeah, just bring it right up to up to my face, and I can see what I'm doing. But here, I, I can't. Right, so you can see that the you can see the edges there. Really pretty. So once you've done it all the way around, just um, just go around the top there. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Probably the good idea is to do all your coasters on the sides first um, and then put them up onto little little bowls or something, little yogurt cups or whatever you've got. Um, otherwise, if it's still wet on the bottom, you're going to get it all over your fingers and then you risk getting it on the top. So I would suggest you do all the sides first, put them up on your little bowls like that until they dry and then come back once they're all dry and then just do the, the tippy top edge like so on all of them. You don't need a very thick edge. I think it looks much better with a, just a, a thin sort of a delicate edge. Oops. My other ones have got a bit of a thicker edge on those two that I did on my left there because I tried you know, painting them first with that other concoction that I made and I really didn't like it so I've gone over it with the, the deco colour. I don't know why I change, I try, you know, you always look for something better but really the deco colour is just, it's just the bee's knees. It's just amazing. I love it. Can be difficult to find sometimes. Um, in Australia they're about Hmm, gosh, I was going to say $15, but then I thought, hmm, I think they're more like $28 each, I think, from memory. But, um, that yeah, I, I feel that they, they are worth it. If you can find someone that's somewhere that's got them, grab yourself a few because they do sell very quickly. I've been using them a lot and I recommend them, so I reckon people are buying them on that recommendation but they are good. Uh, you may have to go over it like if you've missed a little section or you wanted a little bit thicker if you can still see your your red coming through just go over it again try not to go over like I did if you go over you can wipe it off real quick but if you leave it on you're going to need some acetone to get it off oh, there we go So I need to go and finish the sides, but basically that's what it looks like at the moment. So I'm going to do them all. Um, and uh, yeah, finish them off. I was showing my husband and um, <clears throat> he said, uh, I said, what do you think? And he said, uh, oh, it looks like, it looks more like Japanese. So anyway, there we go. Well, Chinese New Year. <laughs> They're my Chinese New Year coasters. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will finish them off and put the video, put the little photo up so that you can see. Oh, I'm going to finish off this little dude now. And uh, I will see you again. <laughs> again. I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care. Love you all. Bye for now.